And Shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rukhah HaKodash, double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, who I learned the truth from, and peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect. Yahweh is the Heavenly Father's true name in the ancient Hebrew, who the world annually calls God. Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten Son, the Savior of the, of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world annually calls Jesus Christ. So just a, you know, a couple quick articles, uh, I'm not going to read them all, you know, but you know, you know, going into the news and um, news update and prophecy. <clears throat> All right. So this is going to be more so focused, focused on, you know, the whole market of the beast uh, system. All right. Which is the RFID chip. So this is coming from uh, Zero Hedge News. Uh, Zero Hedge dot com says ECB trademarks digital euro as it begins experiments on digital currency launch. Okay, so the ECB is the European um, something, something bank. I forgot what the C stands for. Commissions bank, maybe. Maybe uh, maybe I'll say it in here while we're reading it. It says, um, as the world obsesses over Trump's taxes and whether or not he's, use, he's using oxygen during his COVID hospitalization, all right, aka distractions, okay? These are distractions that uh, people are, are focusing on right now, you know, and we know that during distractions, these devils, all right, speaking about these, um, e these, uh, so-called elites, all right, the central bankers, the Rothschilds, the, uh, Bloomingbergs, the Oppenheimers, okay, the DuPonts, these people, the Rockefellers, they're, uh, the ones who are in, in control of this world, all right, this age, the, 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 the um, the devil, all right, Satan, they like to do things behind the scenes, all right, which the scriptures tells you that. Right, let's see, let me get something real quick. All right, uh, Psalms 64. It says, uh, Psalm 64, verse 5, I start at 4, it says, that they may shoot in secret at the perfect, okay, being who? The Israelites, all right, suddenly, speaking uh, specifically the elect of Israel, all right, it says, suddenly do they shoot at him and fear not. They encourage themselves in an evil matter, all right, bad, a bad times uh, matter. They commune of laying snares privily. You go into that word privily, it you know, goes into the word basically secret, all right, or hid, okay? It says to hide, conceal, bury, and that's how these devils operate, okay? They operate behind the scenes, okay? They have their politicians, their, their Trumps, their Joe Bidens, okay, their, their Barack Obamas, to be the face of the of of you know what people are seeing, but behind closed doors, they're the ones that is actually calling the shots. So it says they commune of laying snares, which means traps, privily, privily meaning concealed. They say who shall see them. You see that? So that's the thing is they don't think that nobody is going to see what they're doing. All right, but that's why the Lord has uh, uh, woken and raised up the prophets, the apostles in these last days. All right, to do what? To combat all this evil, you know, evilness that is going on uh, privately, all these snares that are being laid privately so that we can bring them to light. All right, casting down the strongholds of uh, of the devil. Okay, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3 says, For though we war, for, so like, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Okay, so yeah, we know that we are at war. But uh, but our war is is uh, not at this time a physical uh, war, all right. It's a war of 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 the of really of the <laughs> of the worlds, okay. It's a war of the of the spirit worlds, all right. The left-handed versus the right hand, the spirit, because it tells you that in the book of Ephesians that um, what that uh, uh, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, blood, but against principalities, against wickedness. Actually, I think I got it pulled up right here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, to read it real quick, it says, um, Ephesians 6 and 12, for we wrestle, or wrestling and war is synonymous, not against flesh and blood, okay, not against, you know, the carnal, but against principalities, okay, people that are in a, a higher states, the principalities, the rulers, let's go into this word principalities real quick, all right, it says, the beginning, the origin, all right, the extremity of a thing. Okay, now what is the extremity of Esau? Is who? It's uh, these Amalek, the Amalek, all right, as it's written, that Amalek is the first of the nations, okay? It says the first place, the principality to rule the magistracy, 
okay, <laughs> of angels and demons. Guess what? We are the angels on the right hand side, and Esau, Edom, okay, he is the demons. He is the demon on the left hand side. So that is what that is the that is the 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 fight that we're fighting right now. It's the principalities, man. The uh, the elite, okay, of the le of the right hand, which are the elect, versus the elite of the left hand. Which are who Esau? Uh, which are the 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 essential bankers? Okay, go uh, the the uh, Amalekites. Okay, which ones who rule the world? So it says against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. All right. So going back, or we're wrestling against spiritual wickedness in high places. So that's why it says right here. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war or wrestle after the flesh. Why? Because we're wrestling against spiritual wickedness. It says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds. Okay? And that's the fight that we're doing. That is the that is the elections battle. All right? Where the scripture says, make you war, make you ready to the battle. Well, guess what? This is the battle that we're fighting right now, man. Is this spiritual battle. And this devil doing spiritual wickedness, all right, on the left hand side, and we on the right hand side through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, through the Holy Spirit, the Rakhak Wadash, are combating, are fighting, are pulling down those strongholds, are weakening Esau, Edom, all right, through our spiritual power, okay, which is what? This uh, understanding, wisdom, knowledge, understanding of these scriptures, man, all right, and that is going to turn into actual, because Esau, he's going to realize that he can't beat us in the spirit. All right, he's going to realize that he's losing this spiritual battle because every day the prophets are out here waking up. The sheep are edifying or bringing to fruition all right, uh, uh, the prophecies of Israel waking up. Okay, our, and we're on, on top of that, we're simultaneously exposing Esau, exposing the wicked all right, of, of their evil plans. So it's like a two, it's like a combo shot. All right, by, by, continue, uh, by us continuing to push this word. We're, we're waking up the elect, all right, and we're destroying, tearing down the strongholds of Esau, all right? So that right there is going to, in turn, get Esau to go go to what he knows best, which is what? His carnal, his carnal fight, and that's when the Lord is going to raise up that standard against this devil. Okay, so going back, it says, um, COVID hospital, the biggest overhaul in monetary and currency history is quietly taking place just behind the scenes, and that was this... That's what I was just reading. Okay, the the uh, the uh, the snares being laid uh, privily. Okay, just two weeks ago, Cleveland Fed President Loretta Loretta Meister hinted at just how close the U.S. is to a comprehensive overhaul of the entire fiat system, which is the economic the money system. When she said that legislation uh, has proposed that each American have an account at the Fed, which the Fed. Is, is controlled and operated and owned by the central bankers in which digital dollars could be deposited as liabilities of the Federal Reserve Banks, which could be used for emergency payments. All right, so I'm going to skip all this, go straight to the points because I just want to hit the main points. All right, so it says, uh, which may explain while, uh, why while the digital dollar is still in its development stage, the Fed is currently conducting joint research with MIT on on whether and when to launch it not if but when Europe is far closer to hitting that green button on a digital currency on September 22nd the ECB quietly <clears throat> secretly filed a trademark in the term digital euro all right so now they put a trademark the, the ECB put a trademark let me just type in what ECB stands for ECB let's see ah yep okay so it's the european central bank okay so basically it's the fed <laughs> it's the feds of europe all right because these central bankers our central banks are operating in in majority of all major um especially western western societies western developed countries all right and that's the that's the what that's the beast system okay all right, so it goes on. It says, um, filed, a, filed a trademark in the term digital euro, which appropriately enough uh, uh, abbreviates to DE to instill a sense of German patriotism 
when officials push Europe's most conservative society into a great monetary unknown. As disclosed by the website of the European Union Intellectual Property Office, as European officials are preparing to release an assessment of the benefits and drawbacks of creating a digital version of the currency. And they're not, they, they're just, you know, playing, uh, are playing with semantics when they talk about what drawbacks it's going to create. Their, their only, their only mission and their only goal is to present this digital currency. And this digital currency is going to be presented and operated by way of your chip. Okay. The, the RFID microchip, which is the mark of the beast, which is why everything is going towards digital and biometric. All right, transhumanism, if you will. So, um, like I said, for time's sake, I'm not going to read all this, but it goes into the trademark lists various applications for both goods and services. All right, <laughs> the things that you what need to buy and sell. Going back into Revelation 13 and 16. All right, so um, if you you know you read that, if you will. Okay, jumping down, it says. Says this is happening as the growth of rate of European Europe's currency in circulation just jumped into the double digits, the fastest pace, pace this decade, strongly hinting that the ECB will be insensitized to track and control all circulating currency, ideally by converting it into digital, because it's hard to track physical money. But if everything is digital, <laughs> ESO using his AI, artificial intelligence, okay. Which he, which he, you know, his technology, he tries to use and make himself to be omnipresent, all right? They're going to get rid of the, the physical dollar and bring in this digital dollar. So it says, to this point on Friday, October 2nd, which is last Friday, the European Central Bank announced that it will start conducting experiments on uh, experiments to decide whether to launch a digital euro, according to the Euro News. And they're going to launch this digital euro. And the thing is, they're trying to bring bring this out next year. <laughs> what is next year? 2021. Going to what? The United Nations Agenda 21. It's all connected, man. All right? If the Lord has given you the eyes to see and the ears to hear, then you can perfectly see what time it is, man. All right? That's why Paul said that. That yourself, you know perfectly that the day of the Lord, uh, for other times and seasons, brother, and have no need to write unto you. Because we're seeing it, man. We're standing upon a watchtower. We're watching what the Lord is saying, man. And then we're running and, and, and spreading the gospel, spreading the news, okay, to the ones who will hear, to the ones who will see, all right, the ones that the Lord has given the given the, the, the gift of, of understanding unto. It says, in a report setting out of the pros and cons of launching, launching a digital Europe, Euro, the ECB said that it could support the euro system objectives by providing citizens with a safe form of money in the in the fast changing digital world by which of course it means preserving the ability to deposit and withdraw digital funds from european accounts at will while in the process of making banks redundant so no more you know local commercial banks it's just going to go straight from the central banks to your digital wallet aka your digital account which is what are you going to where are you going to store this money at? In your Fed account, which is going to be directly linked to your what? To your or to your chip. Okay. So this is a thread from the Central European Central Bank. As technological changes are transforming how we pay, a digital euro could offer a universal. There you go. There goes the key word, universal. He calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, accepted, risk-free. And trusted pay, uh, means of payment to complement cash. And it's not going to complement cash. It's, this is going to be the new system. They're going to delete or erase or devalue, okay, physical currency. And it's all going to be on digital currency. It says, we, we've analyzed its possible benefits and challenges in our report. So you click on here, you'll see the report. All right, it says, the Euro, your euro belongs to Europeans and we are its guardian. Hmm. So here you go. These people think that they're the guardians, you know, these central bankers and this woman, Christine Lagarde, Lagarde, she's just an angel for the for the beast. OK, she's just a, a worker. OK, a messenger it says we should be prepared to issue a digital euro should the need rise. And this is why they're using this crisis. OK, why you think they're talking so much about digital currency, digital dollars, digital wallet, Fed account. All right. Uh, uh, 
uh, microchip contact tracing, all these things. Why do you think they're talking about that so much and so frequently all of a sudden during this pandemic? They use this pandemic, all right, uh, as a way to catapult their agenda. Because why? <laughs> because once again, this devil knows he has but a short time. Actually, let me get that real quick. Uh, Revelation 12, verse 12. He knows he has but a short time. Why? Because he sees the prophets out there. He sees the Israelites waking up, calling upon Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, that name being reverence, being magnified, being exalted, being pushed out is a is a is a uh, a complete detriment to Esau society, man. All right, for years and years you had Jake calling on Jesus Christ and God and Jehovah, Jesus. This devil wasn't making no moves. All right, back in the eighteen hundreds, he you know I mean he always had this idea of of wanting to be uh, like the Most High, but Things got exp got got uh, pushed quicker, all right. As as the scripture says, the days will be shortened, and a part of the days being shortened mean what? The prophecies are being condensed to a shortened amount of time instead of instead of you know uh, uh, prolonged. It's happening back to back to back, and it's why because of the prophecy of the dry bones being awakened, man. This word going throughout the four corners of the earth. So now this devil is seeing this, and now in his mind he's like, look, we gotta we gotta make it move. We gotta make this thing move quick, man. Even though they already had it in their mind to do so, now they're pushing all full full throttle, as as Donald Trump said it, uh, warp speed. <laughs> so it says, Revelation 12, verse 12, Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth he hath but a short time. And why does this devil know he has but a short time? Because he sees what? The prophecies, he sees the he sees Israel waking up. He hears the name of Yahweh and the name Yahweh Shai being magnified in the mouth of Israel. Okay? And he knows that that's not his power. He knows that the creator of heaven and earth hates him. Esau have I, like Jacob have I loved, and Esau have I hated. These central bankers, these Rothschilds, the Rockefellers, these elites, they know that they're Edom. Okay? Maybe these regular Joe Schmo Edomites don't know it. We're going to beat that heritage back into them. But these higher elites, we're not going to have to tell them who they are. They know exactly who they are, man. And they know exactly who we are. So that's why they know they have a short time. Because they know that Israel is waking up. Esau is the end of this world. And Jacob is beginning a bit that follow it. All right. So uh, just read a little bit more and I'm going to jump. It says, um, uh, it says, the ECB stressed in, in its report that financial institutions and infrastructures are increasingly threatened by a wide array of tail risk as the proportion of payment systems services that are digitalized is increasing. Blaming everything from cyber attacks, natural disasters, the pandemics, the ECB highlighted these potential risks because they can lead to outages, outages. All right, so don't don't be surprised if once again they got to they got to destroy this current system. So they can just use a, a, a outage attack, all right, of all credit cards and debit cards and all, you know, people that have regular banking, all right, as, a, as an excuse to say, you know what, we got to just bring in this digital dollar that's going to come directly from the federal bank, all right, forget your, forget your Wachovia, forget your Bank of America, forget your, you know, your Barclays Bank, whatever they got over there in Europe, we're going to give you the ECB, the Federal Reserve Banking Bank. All right. Uh, wherever other central bankers that are across the world, we're just going to give you money directly, you know, uh, to each individual. All right. Through their Fed account. And in order to get that, you got to take this chip. So it says outages of private credit card scheme, uh, uh, schemes. It says online banking and cash withdrawals from automated teller machines, ATMs. So no more need of ATM that could significantly affect retail payments and erode trust and the financial system in general. In short, the ECB doesn't even need a crisis to commence an un uh, unprecedented monetary overhaul. All right, unprecedented monetary overhaul. What is that? The new world order. That's that's what that means. Okay, unprecedented monetary overhaul. Even the mere hint at some of some possible stress event is now sufficient reason to shift away from paper currency toward a digital one. All right. The digital euro would thus provide a possible contingency. So why would you need a contingency, you know, uh, a plan unless you already have it underway or you already assume 
that these things are going to happen. Because once again, these devils are doing all these things behind the scenes. They're causing this problem so that they can have a reaction and then bring forth their solution, which is this unprecedented monetary overhaul, aka the digital dollar. It says possible contingency mechanism for electrical payments that could remain in use even when private re resolutions are not available, the report notes. So they're expecting some sort of issue or some sort of catastrophe to happen to where now a digital currency is the is the solution. All right, is the resolution. All right. Um, doo -doo -doo. Uh, boy, who in their right mind to save a bank to earn now? So yeah, so that so that's basically it on that. So now we go from here. Another one. Michael tripped DARPA biochip to save us a salaki to save us from covid can control human dna so on one front they got this whole economic thing that they're trying to you know overhaul and on another front now they're trying to they're going to bring in this microchip uh to to do what to save us from covid which really can control the human dna um which i'm just going to jump in this also it says while many are still attacking anyone Warning of the coming microchip as conspiracy theorists, which they try to label us as uh, ludodites or religious fanatics, which they also try to label us as, that microchip has arrived. So we're these all these things which they're pushing even uh, legislation to make conspiracy theory, uh, cons to be a conspiracy theorist, as they label it, uh, outlawed. All right. Anything that goes against the mainstream uh, uh mentality all right the mainstream rhetoric they're labeling it as conspiracy theory and therefore it is uh outlawed all right it can't be talked about on on public platforms which is why a lot of our videos get flagged and and, and striked and our channels get deleted okay which goes into also the prophecy of the famine of the word all right 22 all right let me see if i can just try to get through this it says but governments are ha aren't having to mar uh, to market the chip as a method of track, trace, and control their populations? Of course not. You know, this devil, he's crafty. All right, let's 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 actually get that. This devil is crafty. He's not going to come out and say, take this microchip so we can be gods and we can track and trace uh, everybody on the earth. No, this devil, this serpent, all right, the one, the same devil that deceived Eve in the garden, all right, by way of his, by way of his craftiness, his, his witchery, is the same devil <laughs> right now. That's why it tells you in the Re book of Revelation, that old serpent, where is that at? He told you that old serpent um, is that same devil that was back then. There you go. It says, and the dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceiveth the whole world. Okay. And this devil, he's good at what he does. He's good at deceiving. He's good at making you believe him. Okay. That's why, that's why he was able to deceive uh, uh, Eve. All right. So going back, he's not going to come out and say he's he's going to market this microchip or his mark as a, a method to track, trace and control the population. Instead, they are marketing the chip as a way to track and detect COVID. See, it's this is the problem. We want to help you make sure that you are, are, you know, you don't have COVID. All right. Or that you didn't come in contact with COVID. And what better way than, than us giving you this chip so that we can just do it for you? You don't even have to think about it. It says in other coronaviruses, boom, all right, which I understand that they're going to come out with a corona, a COVID-2021, 20, 22, all right, a whole bunch of plagues and pestilences that are going to come out. It says clearly this is a much easier sell to the public literally terrorized by their governments and mainstream media outlets for the last six months. Uh... Boom, boom, boom. It says, uh, uh, Real uh, Diego details the creation and coming and coming rollout of the new biochip in his article, a DARPA funded implantable microchip to detect COVID-19 could hit markets by when? 2021, Agenda, Agenda 21, where he writes the most significant scientific discovery since gravity has been hiding in plain sight for nearly a decade and is and its destructive potential to humanity is so enormous that the biggest war machine on the planet immediately deployed its vast 
resources to possess and control it, financing it, its research and development through agencies like the National Institutes of Health and the Defense Events, uh, Events Research Project Agency and HHS BARDA. Okay, it says, the revolutionary breakthrough came to a ca Canadian scientist named Derek Rosie in 2010 purely by accident. Now, re now retired Harvard professor claimed in an interview with the National Post that he found a way to reprogram the molecules that carry the genetic instructions for cell development in the human body, not to mention all biological life forms. All right, so here it is. Now they want to play with your DNA. They want to be God. All right, they want to be like the most high. They want to be able to reprogram, manipulate, change your cells, change your DNA, change your genetic chemical makeup. All right. Um, let's move it down. It says Pucker, uh, Patrick Tucker of Defense One goes into a few more specifics on how the biochip works. He describes it as, as follows. The sensor has two parts. One is a three millimeter strange of hydrogel, a material whose network of polymer chains is used in some contact lenses and other implants. Insert it under the skin with a syringe. That syringe is the what? Is how it gets implanted. All right, that pale, that impaling, okay, under the skin. Boom. The, the syringe includes a sp uh, specially engineered molecule that sends a fluorescent signal outside of the body um, when the body begins to fight an infection. The other part is an electric component attached to the skin. It sends light through the skin, detects the fluorescent signal, and generates another signal that the wearer can send to the doctor, web, uh, websites, etc. It's like a blood lab on the skin that can pick up the body's response to an illness before, before the presence of the other of, of other symptoms like coughing. Uh, I want to get something right here. Yeah, let me get this for you right here. It says hydro, uh, hydro. Hydrogel is a nanotech techno, nanotechnology technology whose inventor early on boasted that if it pans out with approval from FDA, from the FDA, then consumers could get the sensors implanted in their core to measure their levels of glucose, oxygen, and lactate. This contact lens-like material requires a special injector to be introduced under the skin where it can transmit light-based digital <laughs> signals through a wireless network like, of course, 5G, okay? Which is why they're popping up and overhauling and, and quickly putting up all these 5G cell towers, man. Once again, everything leads to the chip. All roads leads to the chip. Once firmly implanted inside the body, microchipped, Human cells are at the mercy of any mRNA program delivered via this, via this substrate, unleashing a nightmare of possibilities. So they legit can control, manipulate your cellular, molecular uh, structure, man. All right, your DNA. That's what this, this chip has the ability to do through digital signals, through wireless network like 5G. So are we are we conspiracy theorists or this is a or is this a fact, man? <laughs> it's not a conspiracy theory. It's a conspiracy fact. It's all over. It's everywhere. It's in your face, man. It says it it is perhaps the first true step towards full on transhumanism, which this devil wants to do. Okay, he wants to uh, connect the body, the human body, through technology. All right, to make some sort of new human. Because that's what this devil thinks he is. He wants to be like the most high. He opposeth all that is called the most high. All right. Second Thessalonians 2. It says what? Um, Second Thessalonians 2 verse 4. Who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called the most high. So he says your human body can be transhuman it can be it can be evolved and i and he has the technology the ability to do so 
or that is worshipped, so that he, as the Most High, sitteth in the temple of the Most High, showing himself that he is the Most High. Okay? And the temple of the Most High is, well, first and foremost, the Israelites, but also over there in Israel. Okay? And who is over there in the land of Israel right now? Those rats, those Amalekites, those, those ones who call themselves Jews and are not, but are of the synagogue of Satan, the chief house of Satan. Okay? Um... So this goes on to tell you who is uh, funding this, which is what um, funding this uh, uh, this technology, this project, which is DARPA and the NH, uh, uh, NIH. OK, says when announced an injectable biochip for the detection of viral respiratory diseases included uh, COVID-19. So this company called Profusa Inc. is the one who is this uh, who's trying to bring out this um, technology. All right, so let me jump down here. It says, take a microchip or face the consequences, <laughs> which is what we've been saying, telling you that this is a society, this is the new norm that they are pushing towards. It says, activists and concerned citizens not need to stop talking about the coming microchip and how they will refuse, how they will refuse to be chipped when the time comes. That time is now. Hey, does not the scripture tell you that? In the book of Ezekiel, it tells you what? That it will no more be prolonged. All right, that that uh, uh, actually, let me pull it up real quick. Okay, the time is here, man. It's not talked about a future time, man. Ezekiel chapter 25, verse 26. So, like Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 26. Again, the son of uh, again, the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, behold, they of the house of Israel say, The vision that he seeth is for many days to come, and pro and he prophesieth of times that are far off. Therefore, saith unto them, Thus saith Yahweh power. There shall none of my words be prolonged anymore, but the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith Yahweh power. So it's not of a future time, it the time is now. Soon people, soon people all over the world are going to have a very difficult decision to make. Take the microchip or face the consequences. Consequences are going to go range from not being able to buy or sell, not be able to, you know, provide a roof over your a roof over your house for yourself or your family, not be able to work, not be able to go to restaurants, not be able to go to grocery stores, not be able to have your children go to uh, school, not be able to have your older or yourself go to colleges. None of that. You're completely separated and ostracized from this new society. Okay, this new uh, normal, as they're saying. It says, uh, take the consequences. Judging by the amount of people walking around in masks, which everybody's doing, during my trips to the supermarket, I say that the odds are not in favor of free humanity. Because that's what these devils ultimately want to do. This chip is basically for these devils to enslave everybody and for them to be able to track and control everybody. And even to the point where they can control your, uh, your, 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 your uh, way of thinking, your vibration. Okay, yes, your cellular molecular makeup. All right, it says most people will line up for it willingly. Why? Because this devil is going to present it with pressure, pressure from above, pressure from below. He's going to cause all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive this mark. And the way he's going to do that is by way of making his new society uh, uh, compatible making a mark or this chip compatible with the new society. And the only way you're able to, to, to maneuver, only way you're able to have a livelihood in this new society is by taking this chip. All right, so that's that. Luke chapter 21, verse uh, 29. And he spake to them in a parable, in a parable, behold, the fig tree and all the trees, when they now shoot forth, and ye, ye see and know that no of your own selves that summer is nigh at hand so you can see that when summer is nigh at hand when the when it's when the then when the leaves all right start to start budding okay when the leaves start to start budding that only happens during springtime and that's how you know summer is right and is close so this is the parable yahweh shai is saying so likewise ye when you see when you see these things come to pass know ye that the kingdom of the most high is nigh at hand so you start to see these things, these things that are happening, all right, the, this, this digital dollar, this microchipping, okay, that can track and, uh, 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 you know, uh, change your cellular, your, your, your cellular molecular uh, makeup, chemical makeup. When you see all these things being talked about amongst, you know, things like DARPA and the NIH, okay, all these federal government, you know, uh, um, 
uh, corporations and programs know that what? That the kingdom of the most high is at hand because this devil, the Lord is not going to let this devil take or have all this come to fruition to the point where everybody's going to be microchip. It tells you that in the book of Job, when he's about to fill his belly, then should the Lord strike him through. Then Yahweh Shai is going to come and redeem us and do what his name is. Yahweh Shai, he delivers. Delivers us. He's going to deliver us from this time, man. Because without Yahweh Shai, we cannot survive this. All right? Without divine intervention, we will not be able to uh, endure all these things, man. And that's why the Lord said that. For the elect's, uh, for the elect's sake shall these days be shortened. Okay, it says, verily I say unto you, this generation shall not pass away till all be fulfilled. So now we're seeing all these things happen, right? When you're in the springtime, you see the budding of the trees. Guess what? Summer is the next step. You don't go from spring to winter or to fall. No, the next thing is summer, right? And it's close. So that's why the Lord said what? Verily I say unto you, this generation, meaning this time frame, is not going to pass to all be fulfilled. Why? Because the budding of the, the, the kingdom of, of the most high is at hand during this season. All right. The budding, the, the, the things that are necessary for the Lord to bring the kingdom is already in place, already in motion. So it doesn't, it's not going to stop. It's not going to take a pause. It's only going to get closer and closer to that. And it's not going to pass away till all these things be fulfilled. So now that we know and we see the microchip is being talked about, well, guess what? This generation, this time frame that we're living in right now is not going to die off and then a whole nother generation and people are going to be talking about the chip. No, this chip has been brought in the generation. It's been talked about in this generation and it's going to be, it's going to come to pass. The mandatory chipping is going to come to pass in this generation. All right. Um, so yeah, I'll end it there. I'll get one more scripture. It's uh, 1 Peter 4 verse 7. But the end of all, th of all things is at hand. Be therefore sober and watch until prayer. Okay, the end of all things is at hand. It's another one. Uh, Ephesians six verse thirteen. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, which is what the as we read down here. You know the the your loins girt about with the truth, the breastplate of righteousness, your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace, the shield of faith. All these things you're going to need, man. Why that ye may be able to stand. To be able to withstand the evil day, having done all to stand. The evil day is coming, man. The end of all things is at hand. And the way that this, the way that everything is going to end is going to be evil for the majority of this world, man. But for us, the Lord is our guide. So we're going to be delivered during these time, during these things, man. All right. So, you know, I'll end it there. Lord, wilderness edifying unto the elect. All praise, honor, and glory to you. How about you? Till next time, shalom.